You're live with BBC News. The European Space Agency's first disabled astronaut has taken part in a flying exercise to experience weightlessness for the first time. John McFall is a British amputee who uses a prosthetic leg and he is taking part in this project to see whether an astronaut with a physical disability can live and work in space. He looks pretty happy there, but let's find out more because John joins us now from Salford. Very good to have you with us, John. Hi. And also to tell everyone you're a former British Paralympian and you were recruited as the European Space Agency's first para-astronaut. You're smiling now and I hope it's because you're remembering what that feeling was like of weightlessness. There is a big smile on your face when we look at the pictures of you. How was it? Yeah, it was great. It's, I'm smiling because it's, uh, it was a great experience and what a pretty unique experience. Um, and it's very difficult to describe to people actually what it's like until you, until you do it. But yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a great experience and a good learning opportunity. Why did you decide to apply for this? Well, I, I've always been hugely interested in science generally and this opportunity came across my path when I saw that uh, ESA had announced that they were looking for the first time, it was, it was an, a space agency looking for someone with a physical disability to uh, potentially be uh, trained uh, to be an astronaut. I read the person's specification. Oh, it, was, it was hugely interesting and very inspiring um, and, and I felt compelled to apply. I thought, wow, what an opportunity and what a really bold and brave question that the European Space Agency are asking, which was you know, to see if they can get someone with a physical disability to train for and uh, live and work in space. John, it just looks so cool, actually, and I think it's because even from when you're young, I mean, every child wants to experience this exact thing that you've just gone through. Absolutely. Tell us a bit more about what it was like and how long it took to get some sense of control. Well, I'm not sure, as you can probably tell from the videos, that I ever got any sense of uh, control. Um, so that particular flight, we did 16 uh, parabolas, and you get about 22 seconds of weightlessness uh, per parabola. But it was a really good sort of learning opportunity to feel how... Uh, my body would, would work in a weightlessness environment and how I would sort of interact with the prosthesis. Um, and so, it was, yeah, it was, it was a useful learning uh, exercise. What does it mean now? Are you going to be able to go to space? How do you, do you get a, ch a choice? Well, as, yeah, I, I think uh, I personally, I don't, I don't think I have the, the choice. I uh, am going to be in a position where we're going to be trying to answer the questions of uh, whether we can train someone with a physical disability uh, to go to space uh, and address those issues. And hopefully one day, uh, you know, we can demonstrate that there are no showstoppers. Uh, and maybe one day uh, I will be allocated to a flight. You're a practicing doctor, I understand. Has this in any way, John, helped you prepare? Uh, what practicing as a doctor prepare for? Yeah, what for this? Yeah, everything I, you've been through. Yeah, I think um, certainly from you know as a doctor, the ability to assimilate large volumes of of information in short periods of time and, and retain knowledge and that sort of thing is going to be very useful uh, in the training for uh, for being an astronaut. But I think that you know the life skills uh, and obviously the medicine and the science and everything that behind medicine as well certainly has helped me as well as you know working under pressure and working at nights in irregular hours. Uh, you know, standing in theatre for long periods of time without breaks, all those sorts of things I think probably lend, them quite so, lend themselves quite well to, to working and training for this particular task. I made that quite sweeping statement, John, that when we're small we all want to grow up and be astronauts uh, and experience weightlessness. But, but did you? Is this something that you've always wanted to do and dreamt of doing? Yeah, it's interesting. It, I've been asked that before and I, do you know what, I never dreamt of being an astronaut per se. I think I, everybody dreams of what it would be like, absolutely. But I think what drove me to have, you know, end up where I am at the moment is just a huge curiosity and desire to explore science. I've always been interested in science and then this opportunity came, came across my path and uh, I, I just had to take it. John, it's been great talking to you and also the pictures are just so wonderful too. It does look like fun. Thanks so much. Thanks.